we are leaving KL today. We are flying up to Bangkok. We're going to spend the next month, like all of August, in um, Thailand. So I need to pack everything up here. I'm looking forward, so, so looking forward to just stopping traveling and just staying in one place for kind of maybe like 28, like four weeks. Hopefully we'll be staying in one place. Although accommodation with Airbnb has not yet been confirmed by the host. So fingers crossed it gets confirmed today because I'm hoping to go there tomorrow. I'm absolutely shattered because these people in this hotel woke me up. They were so, so unbelievably noisy. It was like half past five. I've not been getting a lot of sleep the last couple of nights and they were so loud. Like, I don't even talk that loud in the middle of the day at like half past five, laughing and screaming. Like literally it sounded like right outside the door. I'm very tired, but never mind. I'm gonna pack up. Uh, I'm not actually sure what time our flight is. Maybe like three-ish, something like that. Don't know. All packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna grab a grab. <laughs> grab a grab. Just yeah, think you were right. Right. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do, will knock you down. We arrived at the airport, but our taxi driver has dropped us off at KLI Terminal 1. We need Terminal 2. So we're trying to find the, um, what's it called, the free shuttle over to KLI 2. That's a bit of a pain. <laughs> I think, is this door four? Free shuttle to terminal, KLI2. Here we go. Okay, we're on it. That's a pain, isn't it? Never mind. What? Yeah. All checked in. Gonna go and find some food, yeah? Okay, let's go. We have gone through immigration and gone through um, security we're now gonna find food now we're gonna find food hopefully we'll be able to get something through here where was it that it was rubbish was it chiang mai it was chiang mai last airport we were in chiang mai and there was nothing that we could buy like oh, warm yeah. food you remember just to get snacks and i want Same. something nice Same. oh yeah look wow it's i think this is air asia's terminal <laughs> all the planes are air asia Come on! You're such a fool. Right. It's a long bloody way. This airport seems massive. Some good news by the way, I had uh, an email from our Airbnb host on the taxi ride over to confirm our stay in Huey Hin, or whatever it's called. So that's all sorted and all done, so we're gonna go there tomorrow. We're just gonna have a night in Bangkok. Oh, look at this. This is nice. I've gone for uh, vegetable dal and vegetables. We finished our food. We're heading down. It's quite a nice little airport. Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I think it was. We're going to gate. Yeah, that's good. We're at our gate. We thought we were boarding, but we're not. 3.05 it says. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.04. There's no plane here. That's weird. It's coming. We're boarding. Found eight. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. What are we? 22? 22A, 22B? Yeah. Goodbye, Malaysia. Oh, really? oh, well, next time.
out with some book aisles if you prefer aisles. It might not be full, I don't know. Just show them, give it a tap. Tap, tap, good luck. <laughs> Front row would be nice, wouldn't it? Extra space. Oh, yeah. That'd be bad. They, they have, you, you'd like to move them from a different direction. We're on. I've got a window. Normally, we have like this split thing and we don't have a window. We've got a window this time. We've got a set next to us at the moment. Hopefully, no one sits there. We have the whole row. Not that helpful though. There's no one else coming on. And this is still empty, it's looking hopeful. Portable computers, CD, Sorry. DVD, and VCD players, radio and oh. TV receivers, can? and portable video equipment, or similar battery powered electrical transmitters, oh. oh, no. portable phones, walkie talkies, and remote control phones, or any equipment oh. transmitting oh. electromagnetic waves. What is he saying there? Pengadaan puan-puan, sila ambil perhatian. Penggunaan peralatan berikut adalah dilarang semasa berlepas, mengarat dan semasa lampu isyarat televisyen, pemain video atau sebarang alat elektrikal dan elektronik yang menggunakan kuasa bateri. Penggunaan peralatan berikut adalah dilarang sama sekali sepanjang penerbangan. We got a whole to ourselves. Stephen is going to sit in the aisle. Can I sit in the window then for take off? Off we go. Immigration line. This is going to be fun. And the immigration line goes all the way over there as well. Oh my goodness, that was the immigration experience from hell. We landed at five to five. It's now five past seven. We were in that queue for like two hours getting to immigration. Exactly. Exactly, yeah, more than exactly two hours. It was so hot. There was people fighting and yelling and fainting and it was crazy. But we're finally, finally through. Now to collect our bags, buy ourselves a drink and head into the city. No clue how we're getting there at the moment to be honest. Five. Our bags will have been going round. Yeah, oh no, look, they've taken them off. We must have taken all of our ones off. Just sorting out a sim. We're getting on. No, I need to. We're going back. Oh, cold. We've been boiling for so long. We're on the bus. This is cost. To be honest, we just got, I just got fed up. Yeah, just aircon and stuff. 
Sure, it's just got fed up of like looking. We ordered an Uber, but it couldn't find us. How we can't find the airport, oh God knows, we don't know. We cancelled that. We just got this limo bus. Um, it goes straight to Coast Sound Road. 150 each, which isn't bad. Oh, a little cup holder. Yeah, it is. It's not too bad because I think the taxi was going to be like between 250 and like 350 I think so it's like 300 for the two of us which isn't bad we need to try and get our head back into Thai bar now instead of bring it We're on our way finally We have arrived the bus has dropped us off at Kosan Road It's dropped us off the wrong side though so we've got to walk through Kosan drop the bags off at the hotel and then we're going to head back out for a little wander this is Koh San Road, if you don't know, it's um, like backpacker area of Bangkok. In fact, it's probably like the biggest backpacker street in the world. Oh, mango sticky rice. Right, okay, so we're just going to drop our bags and I'll show you a bit of uh, Koh San Road afterwards. At home, this is us. This is our room, by the way. It is just a standard double bedroom with a fan and that's it. We've got a shared bathroom, but only here for one night, so... It doesn't really matter. Wi-Fi is excellent, so that's all good. It's called At Home Guest House, I think, something like that. And it's kind of just off Kosan Road, which is good. Like, like, like I said, Kosan Road is like heaving chocker backpacker area. And I quite like it though. I quite like wandering around, but you don't want to be staying right on it because obviously like the music on the bars and everything. Uh, play music very loud until very late, very early hours of the morning. So you don't want to be right on there, but we're like literally like one little road back so it's like one minute walk to Coast Sand Road but you can't hear the noise so we're gonna head back down get some fruit your dad's just called oh are you answering it now oh right we're not going out right now because Stephen's dad has phoned him we phoned him just as we were like trying to get the uh, bus to Bangkok airport so it's gonna chat to him and then we're gonna go up out so you've got an idea our hotel is just like one along there so you just come through this alleyway and Kosan Road is just there, so like I said, really close. It's gotten so late. It's now like 10 o'clock. 10 past 10, Stephen's on the phone with his dad. For ages, so we're just coming out for a little wander. Coconut ice cream. What? You want a coconut ice cream? Juices, do you want any of those juices? Yeah? What juice do you want? That night, oh my god. No, it's busy during the day, is it? Oh, yeah. That sounds like that. Koh San Road is just absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever been there at this like late at night. Like, I don't know, like 11 o'clock or whatever. I've been in the evening, but not night time. It is crazy. Give me a nice relaxing beach any day of the week rather than that. I've like got a headache now. Am I old? Am I showing my age? Yeah, I am, but never mind. Obviously we're back home. As you can see, I am gonna go to bed because I am shattered and I kind of just, I'm really ready for stopping. I feel like we've just been on the go, and like staying places for not very long, like one day, two days recently, and I just need to chill out. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next couple of weeks in Thailand. But thank you so much for watching today. I see you tomorrow. Good night.